Hey everybody, stick around because today we are going on another Tennessee State Park vacation. Hey, welcome to the channel and thanks for clicking on this video. If you've seen some of my past videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of state parks, especially if that state park has lodging like an inn or cabins that are available for rent. We're fresh into 2021 and everybody knows what an awful year 2020 was. Initially, our family plans for Christmas this year had been to have a big get together with family, to do some traveling, stop off at a few places and have a lot of fun. Last year at Christmas, I had work obligations that kept me from being able to do anything at all. So this year was gonna be a big blowout and uh, I think we all know how that went. But not wanting to sit back and suffer in misery, I decided I was going to take my family on a short little trip. So early on during the Christmas week, I took my family to Nathan Bedford Forest State Park to stay in one of the rental cabins. Now, let me go ahead and get this out of the way early. However you feel about the name of this park, I'm not going to hold that against the park itself and the staff there. I understand that in today's day and age, it's a controversial name, but let's move past that and let's talk about this awesome state park. So Nathan Bedford Forest State Park is about halfway between Jackson and Nashville, north of Interstate 40. So without much more ado, let's get into my review of this cabin and the park. For a price that's comparable to a moderately priced hotel room, you can get an entire cabin complete with all the amenities you could want. Rates are between $120 to $160 depending on the season and the days of your stay. The cabins are located by themselves in an isolated area of the park, so you won't have to worry about people passing through to get to the boat ramps or party pavilions. The interior of the cabins are rustic but well lit, comfortable enough for those who aren't into roughing it, and rustic enough for those looking for an outdoor experience. There's an open floor plan in the living areas including a large kitchen. The bedrooms are equipped with two beds, dressers, and an open closet. The master bedroom has a large bathroom with a tub and a shower. There's a smaller bathroom located off the hallway with a shower. And the second bedroom is outfitted like the first. The beds are comfortable, although I do advise bringing extra pillows if you need them. The large living area is equipped with plush and comfy furniture and opens up into a dining area big enough for a large group. The back deck overlooks the lake and has a nice table for sitting outdoors and enjoying the air. The kitchen is large and has most everything you need, including glasses and cups, dishes, some things you may not have thought of, and pots and pans. It's a perfect setup to enjoy your time at the cabin however you like to relax. There's satellite TV with lots of channels to enjoy your favorite shows and a gas fireplace for a romantic atmosphere. Our cabin was pet friendly with a small additional cost. Behind the cabin by the water is a fire ring with bench seating for a group bonfire. The park is enormous with miles of hiking trails and the cabins are only a small part. There's a traditional campground with hookups and lots of places to encourage boating and water activities. The Tennessee River Folklife Center is an interpretive museum and gift shop with wildlife, artifacts, and a show of the freshwater pearl industry 
that is a prominent part of the area. And there's a super friendly staff there to make your experience even better. Also available to rent is a rustic log cabin that is located by itself in a remote area of the park. It includes a grill, fire ring, and a porch with an amazing view of the valley. When the day is over, you can settle in at your place for the night with a family cookout and a view of the sunset from your own back deck. So what's your favorite state park? Do you use the parks in your area? If not, you should be. It's a tremendous asset. You've already paid for it with your taxes, so you might as well make use of it. My family had a great time at Nathan Bedford Forest State Park. The cabin was amazing. The park itself is beautiful, and we will certainly be returning at some point. So that's a wrap for this video, and until the next one, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. We'll see you next time.